guys from the 1800s. I'd like to do it. That guy's from the 1800s there. Just the first engine coming down the line. It's an 1881 case. Probably the oldest base traction engine running in the world. What do you do when it breaks down? It's a little seat with a footboard. This is a little old school horses. And the driver of the horses sat up on the seat there. Later on, I'm very tired about it. All right. Sit back here. Sit back there. Next thing we have is the Ferris 1928. This Ferris is documented as the last to come off of the Ferris. Do that again. Time to do it again. So you get the best view up here. That's why I stand up here. Oh, well, sometimes plans change. You don't get a good view down here. line at the first half scale. You sit right there behind us. Rod. Uh, I don't know who owns it. Well, that's asking. Awesome. Many builders have built these things. Yep, it is. It's a nice looking, accurate model. That looks like the last tracker. Probably some kids who like to run this engine. You never know. There's a couple kids running now. Uh, what's your name, Cheryl? Like what? Bob and Cliff. Uh, Thank you. You did a good job. Let's see you blow the engine now. Was what does the designate a 1650 stand for? A 1650 means 15 horsepower on the flywheel, 16 drawbar horsepower on, at the back of the engine. The old uh, Manufacturers there and leave them to fly as much as 16, 20, 30, whatever. Large horses. This was a 1912 Russell. It's got a turbine with a headlight on it. That was one of the options of the Russell company. Back in the day. Next machine to open in Taylor in 1911. Owned by Tim Russing of Toronto, uh, I think. And we've got uh, Kevin and his buddy Bob up there on the engine. Often and Taylor Company was bought out by Alice Chalmers during the Depression. Here we have a Westinghouse engine. Water turn boiler. These were manufactured in New York. A few of them made it out to the West Coast, but they were more, mainly an Eastern and uh, Midwestern engine. We've got Kyle up there and his buddy Matt. Thank you.
got Amy and uh, I can't tell who the other one is. This is a popular size case engine. It's got what's called the bobtail tender. The water tank is underneath. They're standing on top of it. Well, as the other case engines had a big tail bunker in the back. Dickinson Shepherd got a silver engine. Oh, uh, what do we got? We got Burn up there, we got Paul up there, Paul the Shepherd, the owner. And uh, the Charming Erica. <laughs> 